latest on phase track from meteorologist Craig Setzer and uh, Craig your concern about the rain that is coming for sure. That's right. The rain is coming for sure. And I think that while a lot of us think of a tropical storm as a wind event, I think this is going to be a wind and flood event. So uh, two things to consider here this morning as this unfolds as we speak. Now here's a look at real time Doppler 4 and you can see these heavier bands now starting to work their way into the keys. Winds in these bands are 40 to 50 miles an hour, and as they come through, they'll be bringing torrential downpours, very, very low visibility, and wind gusts from 40 to 50 miles an hour, stretching from uh, Marathon up through Isla Mirada, Key Largo, and then eventually Homestead. Some of this activity now working its way into Biscayne Bay is going to be sweeping across South Miami-Dade over the next hour or so, and as the day progresses, as the morning progresses, this is going to gradually work its way to the north. The weather's going to go down, and it's not going to improve a whole lot as opposed to that sometimes squally weather we see. This looks pretty serious and pretty constant all the way back south to Cuba. Here's a wider view right now. They're starting at 6 a.m. this morning, actually at uh, 12, 15 a.m. this morning. There's the center. Here's their uh, precipitation. Now, what I want you to focus on is not the center. The center's here. What actually what we're looking at is the big area of thunderstorms that precede the center. Now the Hurricane Center always tracks that that little position right there and their cone forecast is for that position there. But look at all the rain. All the bad weather, the strong winds are to the east of the center. So as this comes to the north, all of this bad weather comes north with it and it comes right over South Florida and it's going to be a long duration heavy rain event with very strong winds building as the day goes on and through the night tonight. Here's the 5 a.m. advisory 50 mile an hour winds, although the hurricane hunters are now start, starting to strong find some stronger winds just north of the coast of Cuba, moving to the north northwest at 12 155 miles to the south southeast of Key West. Here's a future track and remember this is where the center of Faye is going to go, but remember all that bad weather is on the east side of Faye. This is overnight tonight and then this is during the day tomorrow. So those are your track positions with time. Now what I've done to kind of help explain this is I have taken the uh, the wind field here, the tropical storm force winds. Here we are in South Florida. Look at all of the storms out to the east and we're going to move the center to the north along the middle of the cone and then here comes all the bad weather with it. So here's through the morning, afternoon, now all of South Florida receiving heavy rain and then the stronger winds arrive later in the afternoon, overnight tonight, through the night tonight during the morning hours tomorrow and it's not really until tomorrow afternoon that things start to improve and the only way this scenario would be different is if this moves more quickly or if it were to decrease or weaken suddenly and those two scenarios right now I don't think are that likely so I think we're set for a long duration heavy rain event and a wind of it. The hurricane watch does remain in effect for the Keys, the west coast of Florida in the event that uh, Faye could intensify and become a hurricane and tropical storm warnings for the Keys as well as all of South Florida now, Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach County under tropical storm warnings, meaning her uh, tropical storm force winds are expected. The water vapor loop showing Faye down here and you can see all of that deep tropical moisture working its way to the north. A little upper level low here may be what's nudging or pushing the thunderstorms off to the northeast side. Uh, that upper level low is forecast to kind of hang with Faye for uh, at least a few more hours and that's going to keep the storm kind of lopsided like that. So our forecast for today looks like this. Flood watch is in effect. Tropical storm warning in effect. Bottom line flooding rains increase as the morning goes. Gusty winds increase also. It's the uh, uh, finish your final preps this morning because I don't think the weather is going to be good enough to do it this afternoon. High temperature if you can call it high 85 degrees but it's going to be raining so hard for much of the day. I think uh, any outdoor activities are not going to be that enjoyable. Mm -mm. All, All right. right, well, let's pick it up right there and talk about just some practical, practical advice for folks. Practical advice is if you've got stuff you've got to do, get it done as soon as possible this morning. If you're going to work this morning, you may want to check with your supervisors on if there's going to be early dismissals yeah. because the last thing we want is a lot of people trying to get home this evening when roads are flooded, the wind is blowing, there's power lines down. It could be a mess by this evening, so uh, hopefully people are keeping that in mind. Let's talk about flooding preparations. What about that? Flooding preparations, uh, if you know you live in a flood prone area, you may want to move to an area that, that is less flood likely. Uh, there are other things you can do in terms of like with pools. A lot of people say, well, let's lower our pools. Don't lower your pool. You know what? If your pool overflows, it's fine. If your pool is lowered and it rains so much, it could cause your pool to try to float and it tears up your pool. Leave the pool alone. The pool uh, will be fine. Obviously, bring in uh, plants, patty furniture, make sure your pets are in. Right. And there's the wind side of this, too. We can't forget 
that because there's still going to be strong winds, especially later today and tonight. So plants, patio furniture, anything like that. Still, I don't think this is a shutter event except in the lower and middle keys where the hurricane watches. That's in what I was going to ask. Yeah. No, OK, so not a shutter event. Not a shutter further south. Right. All okay. right. That's the silver lining in all this, but it's <laughs> yeah. a small silver lining <laughs> yeah. at this point. All, all right, Greg, thank Thanks, you much. Greg.